Hi there, it's time for reading challenge wrap up. So, um, I don't want to sound like a broken record, but this is always an adventure. Me trying to record my videos and get them out on time and blah, 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 blah. <laughs> I recently recorded a review video to talk about everything that I read at the end of 2020 and then um, that was basically to get you know caught up with the fact that I didn't post anything in the month of January so I'm hoping to record another review video with the books that I'll be mentioning now so I'm gonna tell you everything that I read in the month of January and what I'm currently reading and kind of what I have planned the best laid plans as they say. I'm also trying something different with my whole recording setting because recording has been an adventure. So let's see how this goes. Um, <laughs> all right. So this is my uh, current desktop image. It's a beautiful um, image that I hope to get is a print from Stephanie Smith. I support her on Patreon. But let's open up my Goodreads. We're just going to go straight into it as opposed to me popping up the images. I'm going to try this. We'll see how it goes. All right. So, hope oh, that's what I'm currently reading. I'll come back to that. So, in my review video um, for everything that I read at the end of um, 2020, I skipped this book. I forgot that I read it. I haven't reviewed it yet. Um, as you can see, I gave it a three stars, and this is a graphic novel version. I read the novel either in high school or college. I don't remember. I didn't care for it, but this was a book club read, so I thought I'd try the graphic novel as opposed to trying to reread the book, and it did go a lot better for me, but I'll give more details because I will include this review with the rest of the reviews for the books that I read in January later this month. So now let's actually get into things that I read in January. The first thing that I finished in January was Temple of Ghosts. I gave it a five star. Um, this is the third book in a series that I really like. Um, I follow this author on social media. I really like her. And um, I haven't written my review yet, but that's coming. Um, but I already, like I said, I've already given the rating. And very excited about that. Let's see what else I finished in January. The next thing I finished was my IWSG book club read. We have two of them. This is one of them. And this one is preparing to write settings that feel like characters. I ended up giving it a four star. When I actually review it, I'll probably mention that that's really a 4.5-ish kind of rating because basically I just wish there was more to it. It was a really good book. I thought it was very helpful. It was really short. Like I read it way too fast, but um, I, no major complaints. It was a good, good read. All right, the next thing I finished was <laughs> the Anti-Inflammation Cookbook, The Delicious Way to Reduce Inflammation and Stay Healthy. <laughs> That's a lot, right? So um, this is a cookbook, but of course, you know, the author tells her story and explains why she wrote the book and everything. And um, I am interested in, you know, anti-inflammation. It does kind of talk about some other things, but I'll get into that more when I actually write the review. For now, I'm giving it a four-star rating again. Good book. There are just a few pointers that I will point out later that would have made it, like, excellent. All right. Next thing I finished was, okay, so this is not, this is the book that I read, I listened to. This isn't the audio version. So aside from my Goodreads challenge that I do every year, last year was the first year that I didn't meet my challenge, but, you know, 2020. So anyway, before that, <laughs> I had been setting my challenge for 50 books a year. I think I had done that two or three years in a row, then I bumped it up to 75 in 2027. So I'm going back to 50 just to get, you know, back in the swing of things. I believe I can have success with that. But on top of that, I found an audiobook challenge. I believe it's the Caffeinated Reviewer that I found it from. And so I have all of these audiobooks that I've kind of collected that I've not read. So I thought I might as well do something with those. And I, the goal I think that I have set is to do one a month. So that's 12 in a year. I can, I think the way it's set up, so I can do like 12 to 15 or something like that. I don't know. I have to go back and look. 
but this was the first audiobook of the year for me. I gave it a four stars, and I'll get more into the review later. And the last thing that I finished in the month of January was Frozen Crimes, book four in the Disaster Crime series. This book was so good. Oh my goodness. I There were parts of this book that I'm not going to get into a review, but it, it was hard to read sometimes, but I guess hard to read in a good way. I really love what Chris Faye has done. She she really makes characters that um, you kind of want to be like them. Not exactly like them. You don't want to go through all their disasters. But anyway, so I gave Frozen Crimes a five star. I have the rest of the books in the series to get through. I think there's one standalone. There's a couple of like shorts or novellas that are left in the series, but so good. So that's everything that I finished in January. So let's go back and peek at what I'm currently reading. These are the three books I'm currently reading. So Ghost Light is another audiobook. This is another IWSG book club book. And because I was doing the audiobook challenge, I thought I'd try it. And um, this, I think, might be the first time I've ever regretted doing an audiobook. I think it would have just been easier to read. This book is written in second person. So our book club is reading it specifically for that purpose. We try to read, you know, things that focus on different aspects of writing, a book that's really good at description or a book that's really good at dialogue. And so this is a POV that I'm not crazy about. I'm struggling with this audio book. But it is what it is. I'm going to try to get through it for the discussion, which I believe is on the 24th of February. So Ghost Light and the um, book about um, setting black characters will be the discussion. We'll see how that goes. Um, the next thing is The Way of the House Husband. This has been so great. Like, there, the only reason I haven't finished this book yet is just because, you know, life. <laughs> this is my first digital arc of the year. I'm so excited that I was accepted. Um, I'm hoping to finish it and review it soon. And it's, it's great. This is a manga. I don't read a lot of manga, but I read graphic novels all the time. So anyway, I'm, I'm so excited about this. And then the last thing that I am probably going to finish tonight <laughs> as, as I'm recording this video is Smitten with Croissants. This is the second book in a series. I love this author. I fell in love with her cozy mysteries. Um, I joined her, like, um, I guess fan club or whatever it's called. And so I get a lot of her stuff. And I'm really, I'm liking this one too. So these are the things that I'm currently reading. Now, I just wanted to say that I have historically spent the month of February focusing on graphic novels. Well, I already have one of those covered. But um, I, I literally have a stack. Um, I read a lot of ebooks, but when it comes to graphic novels, I do have those in print. And I am going to get to at least half of what I currently have. I, every year, you know, I, I do this just as a way to, to take some of those off of my TBR. So that's my goals for February. Please let me know what you think about any of the things that I've read. Um, like I said, a review video will be coming soon. And um, if you want to make any suggestions, I, I love suggestions. You know, um, I'm going to have a couple of series that I'm really into, but those series are going to end and I'll need something else to read. So that's that. And um, hopefully this new format kind of works for you. This is... Let me try to see if I can switch that off. You don't need to keep staring at that screen. <laughs> but um, this whole thing has just been a challenge for me, and I'm I'm going to push through. So um, if you're not already subscribed, please consider subscribing so you can get all of these videos. I, I do promise it's going to get better as far as, like, the quality and consistency. And, um, yeah, that's really all I have for now. So until next time, bye-bye.